everyone. I'm Robin Zimmerman along with Marcus Walsh for this edition of Talk of the Town. Marcus, as you know, is a voice, the face of our sportscaster here at yes. uh, WHHI TV. Of course, football. Now we're kind of finishing up our basketball season, yeah. boys and girls. So we're going to do a quick wrap up of the, the Hilton Head and the Bluffton games, boys and, and girls. And uh, May and River then, as well. And, and May then River. preview tonight's action. And then we'll talk about tonight. I'm, so. I'm actually going to essentially be in two places at once because <laughs> as this is likely airing, right. I'm in Whale Branch right, <laughs> right now calling the Bridges Prep Whale Branch games. Well, let's review. Let's go backwards first. Yeah. Um, Hilton Head with big wins on the girls' side, 57-24 to 24 over May River. Uh, they led pretty much throughout and, and played really well with the fact that Linda Young is out. They got a lot of really good performances. Um, certainly Leah Jackson was terrific. A few other players for Hilton had really good. Um, and, and they just really caught May River on a good night. They went up against Bluffton and got beat uh, pretty good in that one, actually, 51-35. to 35. But again, right. they looked really competitive. Bluffton, to me, is the best 7-4-A team on the girls' side that I've seen this year and possibly the best that we'll see in the low country. Um, Bluffton pretty much led throughout. On the guys' side, uh, the guys lost to May River 43-29. Look out for the May River guys. They continue to get better and better. Um, Hilton Head just didn't quite have enough against May River. They can do a myriad of things defensively and, and work really strong. Um, then on the other side, they took on Bluffton and they won 60 to 42. Ooh. So a big comeback yeah. win for them against a young Bluffton team. But look out for them. Uh, Coach Gabriel doing great things at Bluffton in his first year already. Okay, so um, Whale Branch will host Bridges Prep. That's, and that's tonight. That's tonight, which should, is should Wednesday. Should this weekend. Yes. So talk about and, that. And we're looking forward to these games too. Uh, the guys of Whale Branch won 83 to 70 last year coming off that huge win where they iced it down late at the free throw line. The girls' game was competitive. It was low scoring, 31-29. Uh, all of these teams have really great coaches, obviously really great players, and the fact that they're all coming back, this, this rivalry is really close. Um, Whale Branch is leading it on both sides of the ledger, but I look for Bridges Prep to really get after it, and, and make it a fun atmosphere. It's going to be our first time at Whale Branch calling basketball tonight. Right. So that's, that's going to be great, too. Really looking forward to it. And it takes a team, doesn't it? I mean, I know you call the games, but you have – who else is on our team? Well, we have Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamont, Jeremy Pope for sure. I had a plethora of guests, uh, Lisa Richardson, Coach Daniel Godson, uh, Tony Red Bruin, Daniel Court. Uh, Larry Jackamont called a called yeah. a quarter with me last okay. week or so. Um, those guys and gals all did a great job, and we're looking to have more tonight. Um, our sponsors as well, Robin, led by Summit, Summit Services. Summit Services, uh, you couldn't do it without it. Tremendous. Daniel Court, uh, we we gifted him a three point play. So he and Court Lifestyle Pros, he and right. Debbie are terrific. So to have them, our our food from Fat Babies and Chicken Salad Chick. Try the Fancy Nancy. <laughs> try the uh, sausage guy, they're both terrific. Um, so from your perspective, yeah. basketball, football in this area, in the low country, which is which is more prevalent? Which is the, the, the most watched, uh, would you say? Or I, are they just different audiences? I would say the most prevalent, and that's a really good question, Robin. I would say the most prevalent by a smidge is football, just because it okay. is the South. South, right. Um, but don't shy away from basketball because I love the watching action basketball. that we have it's so fast. year in and year out is just terrific. I say it's a credit to the folks at Loco Sports that we work with, our partners, our colleagues, right. the students, the teachers, the yeah. educators, families. We're all we're all one team <laughs> that make this the way right. it is. And it's it's just been a thrill. I've been doing football a lot longer overall ben, ben. since basketball, but I've been doing basketball since 2018, and I just love it. And there'll be playoffs for the basketball yes, around the we, corner. Yes, we will so, not have right. uh, any live games, but I'll be working with WHHI, of course. I'll be working with Loco Sports, trying to it will get you all the information, whether it's via social media or reports here or on Loco. Check it out. Thanks to Justin and Wes and the rest of his banded of reporters. It's, Good. it's been a blast. Good job. Love it.
Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Marcus Walsh, sportscaster here at WHHI-TV.